So this is the um, capacitive sensor um, and it's on a um, LPA fan duct uh, version 5 uh, unified. This is the cable. The cable is actually uh, blue and black are wired to a 3 pin connector here. Only 2 pins are used, ground and signal wire. You put some heat shrink wrap on here. Now because I've got 12 volts on the uh, top of the frame, uh, what I've done here is I, uh, just using a hobby knife, made a slit in the plastic sheath and gradually pulled through the brown wire, which is the 12 volt supply. And then I um, uh, removed the end here very carefully. Uh, I press these contacts in, pull it out, uh, reset them and then push them back in again. And um, slid the um, uh, reasonable size to heat, heat shrink over. Uh, once I pulled the wire, the 12 volt wire out, and now, you, of course, you can't see it. It's all, it's all sealed up, so that's good. And then this goes on the printer. This is it down there, like there. Cable goes up. At this particular point, the 12 volt wire here will come off and go onto the 12 volt rail. And then the rest of it will fit into the actual board, signal wire and ground, fit into the controller board. So that's all wired and ready to go. I have the E3D hot end on now, as you can see, um, with a uh, capacitive sensor. I've used these uh, 2P connectors, so it can easily be detached. But there is one issue with this, and notice this. I think it's a poor design of the um, E3D clip that um, this clips on. Because what that does is, of course, it makes everything move. And so what I've done is I've redesigned this bracket here with some uh, downsides, and that was going to stop this from moving around. Now, to connect uh, this LP fan up, LP fan duct up through this uh, small uh, 3030 fan onto the uh, blue plastic of, the, of that clip, what I had to do was I had to drill out the holes in the blue clip uh, with a 2.5 millimeter drill and then I've tapped it with a 3 mm thread and that allows those bolts to go straight through and onto the blue clip um, and I had to uh, use a hacksaw to cut these uh, M3 bolts both top and bottom to the correct size so at the moment, I mean, she's jiggling around. Um, so next things to do is do the uh, pit on the hot end, and then to wire up the sensor and to test all the um, auto bed leveling. So going to do that next. So I've replaced the bracket there, and of course this doesn't move now. See that? Um, so it's not swinging around. So that's good. Uh, I've wired up the 12 volts to the sensor. It's all connected up here. And, I'll, and what I did first was I auto-homed the uh, bed using the LCD menu and then I moved X and Y to get the sensor onto the bed and then I turned it off I pulled out the uh, Z end stop which was mechanical and I've now wired up the sensor uh, into the Z end stop and um, just to verify that it's working, if you look at that red light there, when I move it, it's a metal, you can see that the light comes on. And at the moment, the sensor is too high. So what I need to do is uh, just unscrew this and move the sensor down until the red light comes on. And then it should be set. So I'll do that now. You can see the red light's on, just on. Uh, and I've just had a thought that if I was to go out of auto home now, the print head's going to be here, meaning that the sensor's going to be sitting out here, and it's not going to find Z. So what I'm going to have to do is turn safe homing on, and reset the position so that the um, sensor is actually sitting over the bed. 
so at the moment I think that's about 50 back so I'm going to use something like uh, X20 uh, uh, Y50 um, and that should be able to uh, be fine so I'll try that now and I'll, I'll change the firmware uh, which has got the safe homing on and specified X and Y to be 50 uh, each I've um, run Repetir host connected uh, sent a uh, M119 and it's telling me that the Z is actually triggered so I know that that's, uh, that sensor is actually working so of course let's have a go uh, pair auto home That's using that's using this sensor here. I don't know why it stopped uh, all the way above there. Oh, it stopped at Z10. Um, it's got to be a setting in the firmware that I'll, that I'll have to have a look at. Um, but obviously working because uh, the uh, mechanical switch is not connected. Only the uh, the uh, end stop is connected so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the screw j just to prove so let's uh, let's wind this up right so there's plenty of room there now Oh. Let's go back around this side. Okay, so prepare for a home. So you see, you see the red light come on here uh, on the sensor indicating home. There it goes. So that's all good. So the next thing would be to be able to send a G29 code when G29 is auto bed leveling. So let's go to Repetier Host type G29. G29. And let's see what happens. First point, second point coming up. Head point coming up, middle of the bed, and back end of the bed. So whoopty doody, auto bed leveling is working.